Lord Balaram's favorite drink, Baruni. So now let's look at the ingredients for making the Baruni drink. So here we have milk, around one cup of milk. Honey, we can add as much as we desire based on the amount of sweetness that we prefer, but around three to four tablespoons. Some fresh blueberries, saffron threads. This is pure rose water. This is some ghee. This is pineapple crushed, some oranges. This is fresh ginger juice. And this is yogurt. So now let's start making the drink. Varuni, as we know, is Lord Balaram's very favorite drink. So first we will add some saffron threads into the milk. And then we will follow it with some honey. Now, generally Varuni is actually considered to be just honey. Lord Balaram drank it as honey. And now we make this as a special drink by adding some milk, yogurt and ghee which also gives it a form of panchamrita. So for any drink to become a panchamrita, we must have these five ingredients, which is milk, yogurt, honey, and ghee, and then also followed with some rose syrup. So as we see here, we added some honey, around three, three and a half spoons. Then we will add the yogurt. You can see here the blended yogurt. You can just add around a little bit of one to one and a half spoons of yogurt. And for extra taste, we can add in some ginger, you know, just grate some ginger and add that in with some juices, the ginger juice. This just gives a kick, a little bit of a kick, a nice little dash into the Varuni drink. You will add maximum around one to two teaspoons of ginger drink. Then we are adding some ghee. This is how it becomes panchamrita. And this is the rose water. We adding that in. And then we just give it a stir. So as you can see here that the fruits are nicely crushed and now we will add them gently into the Baruni drink. So add it little by little. You can change the variation of the quantity, how much ever you feel you want to add. You can add that much. Adding the fruits just gives a very good flavor to the Baruni drink. So now we will mix the fruits very gently into the Varuni drink. We can see how the crushed blueberries are giving a very nice bluish texture, a bluish hue for the pleasure of Lord Balaram. And these fruits also give a very nice taste, a delicate fruity taste to this Varuni drink. So now we will pour it out into Lord Balaram's offering glass. The main ingredient that we use in this drink is our love for Lord Balaram because how much ever we use whatever ingredients, our main ingredient must be our love. So now this glass of Varuni is ready to be offered to Lord Balaram and we will decorate it with a nice tulasi leaf so that Lord Balaram will accept our loving devotion. And this drink is now ready to be offered to Lord Balaram. Jai. The Varuni is being offered to the deities. for the 
pleasure of Lord Balaram, Shri Shri Krishna Balaram. <laughs> 